Hi, so I'm trying something a little different this time around. I am coming into this review with no script. I'm just gonna try to talk about my thoughts and just kind of see what happens. I mostly just my hand injuries, but I'm also just kind of curious to see how this goes. So if this one just feels different, that's why. Hi, I'm Torin, and welcome to Torin Loves the Simpsons. Today we're looking at Season 3, Episode 14, Lisa the Greek, an episode where Homer tricks Lisa into helping him gamble, and then just kinda is a real jerk-ass, and then isn't. Um, let's dive on in. So as for the humor, Honestly, for the first, like, five minutes of the episode, there's- I don't even crack a smile. There's nothing. It is completely dull. The Marge and Bart shopping trip makes way for a couple really good jokes, though. Like Bart making a face at Marge behind a stack of clothes on Marge just knowing. And the store security recognizing those aren't the socks she came in with, and grabbing rifles and moving out. Really, I think this episode's highlight moment is Homer asking Marge to promise she won't get mad, and Marge responding, I promise I will get mad because I always get mad when you tell me that. And even that's not really that funny of a moment. And then just everything after that, the last like five minutes of the episode are also pretty dull. This episode overall has a few funny moments, but honestly, it's just not that great. I'm gonna give it a B minus for humor. As for the plot, this is arguably an early example of jerkass Homer, but that kind of depends on how you define jerkass Homer. My understanding is most people consider jerkass Homer to be the standard that he develops in in like middle seasons that he's just needlessly rude to other people and never faces any consequences for it. So by that definition, no, he does face consequences. He feels remorse when Lisa calls him out for his jerk-ass behavior, and then he turns around and tries to convince her to help him gamble again. But then he feels remorse again when she calls him out for that jerk-ass behavior again, and threatens to stop loving him. And he, in fact, changes and at the end of the episode goes hiking with her instead of how he had previously planned to go bowling with Barney. And that ending is pretty touching. Like, I do really, I do really appreciate seeing Homer make that effort in the end. So by that definition, no, this is not an example of jerk-ass Homer. If you're just go coming at it from the definition of, is he being just a real awful person in this episode? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. He's being a terrible father. This is obviously nowhere near the first depiction of him being a really bad father in the series, but I'd say it's probably the worst so far. I would argue that Dead Putting Society and When Flanders Failed and The War of the Simpsons are prior examples, not as, not as pronounced, but it certainly seems that, by that definition, his jerk-ass behavior is largely directed towards Flanders, so it's interesting to see him start to branch out a little bit and be a jerk-ass to different people. As for the gambling plot, I do think it's cromulent enough that Lisa's first gambling prediction was apparently a wild-ass guess, and a lucky one at that. And then she quickly starts picking up on signs. Initially, it's her ability to read people, which doesn't seem to me to be very Lisa, to be honest. She's often depicted as being socially awkward, and like reading facial cues is generally not a skill associated with socially awkward people. Then from there, she starts picking up on trends and team history and patterns in team performance. And that part does seem very Lisa. Her analytic skills are excellent. I don't think the potential peril at the ending is really that interesting, to be honest. I think it does add stakes to the story, but I also just don't think it makes any sense. I maybe kind of picked up that notion from The Real Gems. I think it was in his episode showdown between this and Lisa's Pony that he pointed out 
that, that just kind of, it doesn't really make sense. But I guess it's cohesive with the rest of the plot, at least. This is an episode where everything kind of revolves around football. Not being a football fan personally, it doesn't really do anything for me. But with how little humor there is in both the beginning and the end of this episode, that makes this a very plot-driven episode, with such a glaring issue with the plot, that the big moment at the end does just doesn't really add up. That isn't how Lisa would behave. That just really kind of kills the episode, kills the plot. So while it does reach a bit of a touching conclusion, there are just too many issues with how it gets there. I'm going to give the plot on this episode a C+. And now for the final rating. Humor got a B-, and the plot got a C+. So I'm going to give it a C plus overall. Just kind of never really been a fan of this episode. And this this review just kind of confirms that. It's one that I don't think I've ever really like felt compelled to sit down and really pay that much attention to. And now that I am sitting down and paying a lot of attention to it, I'm just not finding anything compelling about it. Thanks for watching. I hope this one was interesting. I hope it worked okay. I've said, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed it, I please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my reviews. And up next, we're going to be looking at season three, episode 15, Homer Alone. So I will see you in that video.